Making custom car parts for your project car would have been impossible a few years ago, but with today's 3D printers, that's all changed. So in this video, I'm going to show you five different 3D printed car parts that you can make in just one day. First up are some interior car parts for our 3D project car. We're planning on adding tons of custom switches and gauges, and these mini delete plates are perfect. And with some online searching, you'll be able to find similar delete plates for your ride too. But even if you can't find any, they're not very hard to design yourself. I end up making a custom design in Shaper 3D, and you can download and modify them to fit your own project car. And I also have an entire workshop that covers how to make them from scratch in the video description below. Now you're probably wondering what 3D printer you should buy, but before you choose a 3D printer, you're gonna wanna pick the right material to print with. And for interior parts like these mini delete plates or even full-size radio delete plates, you're gonna need something that can handle the hot sun because the last thing you want is for your parts to melt. And after tons of testing, I'd recommend using ASA filament. It can handle temperatures up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and is also UV resistant. You also need a filament dryer to remove any moisture in your material, but with ASA, you'll need to maintain heat while you print. And one of the ways to solve this issue is 3D printing with an enclosure. So now that you know that you need a printer with an enclosure, I'd recommend the Centauri Carbon. It's an enclosed printer and it will also print ASA as well as other filaments that we'll get to. And the best part about this printer is it's only 300 bucks. For basic filaments, you'll get pretty good results. But with ASA, you'll have to adjust the baked in filament profile with a higher bed temp and all fans turned off. And for proper ventilation, we're also using this fume extractor to pull fumes out of the garage. So the Centauri Carbon's build size is around 10 inches wide by 10 inches deep and 10 inches tall. But in order to print our next part, you're gonna need something much larger like we have here behind us. And that's where the Bamboo Lab H2S comes in. It has a build size of around 30% larger than the Centauri Carbon, which allowed us to print a full-size dashboard cluster. And if you're wondering how long something this big will take to print, it'll vary, but with a modified infill setting of 5% and three layer walls, it took around seven hours to print. Now, ASA is also specced to be water resistant, but we decided to put it to the test with one of these. It's a hitch plate cover that we printed in ASA filament as well as black and white, but not everyone has a tow hitch. So instead, I'm going to make another exterior car part that most people have on their car. So let's take a look at that next. So after taking some measurements around the center cap of our wheels and spending a few minutes in Shaver 3D, I came up with a wheel cap cover design. The fitment came out pretty good, but white is boring. So to give your parts more color, you can use an AMS or automatic material system. Unfortunately, the Centauri Carbon doesn't have an AMS option, but you can add an AMS with multiple filaments to the H2S or to the lower cost Bamboo Lab P1S enclosed 3D printer. And here's the results printing with not just one color, but two. So the fourth part on our list is a tool that you can use for nearly any project car. And we're definitely gonna need it for our BMW E30 build. For this next part, we're gonna print with the filament that's cheaper than ASA, which doesn't need as much heat resistance, but can handle oil around the garage. So the way this tool works is you can mount it to your wheel hub and use it to find the proper size wheels you plan to go with. So this 3D printed wheel filament tool is really gonna help us with the offset, making sure that any new wheels that we get won't have a problem with any clearance. And they also even make this wheel fitment tool with extras, such as being able to determine the tire size. But before we do that, we're gonna have to get a lot more weight added back into the E30 build to get our proper tire size. So for the last item, or items on the list I 3D printed, is more of an entire organization system we're gonna use for our Harbor Freight tool cabinet. It's called Gridfinity. It uses a grid pattern to organize your tools and it's a completely free design. I printed a variety of holders for sockets and other parts. And if you don't like your initial layout, you can rearrange them in any way that you'd like. 
So you can even make custom tool hanging mounts that you can attach to the side of your toolbox as well. I made another custom design that uses the handle and the side of the cart for leverage, which can be used to hang tools to, as well as even mounting air tools to the side of the cabinet. This was also made in Shaper 3D, so make sure you check out the workshop where we'll show you how to make custom car parts along with a bonus guide to 3D printing. And this custom car part printed just under two hours using around 10% of a new PET G filament roll, which is also what we use to 3D print the wheel fitment tool. It locks right into place and can hold up to three different air tools. So nearly anything is possible once you learn CAD and a few tips and tricks on 3D printing. And if you want to learn how to make your first custom designed car part, watch this video up next here.